Well, we want to welcome our speaker. Oh, um, oh. We want to welcome our speaker all the way from the other side of the world, from India. I've spoken to Nad, uh, I think, four times, and he's agreed. I asked him a couple months ago. He's agreed to come and talk to you. I was really amazed because I've watched um, Nad really grow on YouTube, and he's super interested, interesting to talk to. We've talked about any topic from, you know, from I think healthcare or no, it was like you know, um, environmental to all kinds of things. And he's super interesting to talk to. So he will tell you how he gets started on YouTube with just his cell phone. So um, welcome, Nad. And everyone keep this very conversational because that's one thing that um, that does he does a lot of conversations and he'd like to hear from you either in the chat where we can read it out or use your mic and let's um, have a conversation. Thank you, thank you very much, Rachel and everybody. So I'm feeling very privileged to having with you today. Okay, so my name is Anand. I'm from India. I'm a teacher and a YouTuber. So Rachel asked me a question that uh, you asked me a question that how did I grow on YouTube? Okay. Yeah, you are absolutely right that I started with my cell phone just, I think, one year back. Okay. Or it has been, you know, 12, 13 months. And I had nothing on those days except a cell phone. Uh, and even I didn't, didn't know how to create a thumbnail and you know, so many things like that. Okay. I, I was knowing nothing. But I was great interested. Uh, I was very interested uh, in you know YouTube and as well as talking with people. So I started talking with people from all around the world. First, I started with talking to people from all other part of India. Later on, I uh, you know found the people from like Bangladesh, you know Nepal. Somebody was from Kazakhstan. Even some one of my friend friends was from USA. So you know I talked with these people and I uh, found it's very interesting and I started putting those video on my YouTube channel and later on I figured out that people are watching those video and they are you know enjoying it so I kept doing it and in this way I started my journey and so you started like you said just with your cell phone and like you know learning how to you know, edit and post and, and, you know, everything with your cell phone and started like, really, like I noticed, like, um, I think what May or something of last year until now, and you're like now over 50,000 followers, which I think is like amazing. Um, yeah, first, yeah, it had, I had started in last May and uh, it is now July and I have more than 50,000 subscribers. So, <laughs> yeah, now uh, I would like to take your questions, okay? We have, um, welcome, Alexander says, welcome to our YouTube camp, so cool. How did you learn English, Rosemary says? Oh, uh, yeah, Rosemary asked that, how did I learn English? You know, my journey is quite interesting, you know, I had no one to talk with in English, uh, but uh, I was a very good listener. So, you know, I have been listening so many things in English, like my interest is in spirituality. Uh, I love to, you know, I love cricket match. So I have been watching cricket commentary in my childhood, not childhood. I, you can say when I was 14 years old, then I got interested. I got interested in cricket and I started watching cricket match. I watched so many videos, uh, you know, and I was listening the cricket commentary very passionately and uh, as well as you know I, I was always whenever I had I had time I was watching things in English and in this way you know I developed the habit of listening and because of it today I'm speaking English that's all. All right thank you for that question I'm just amazed um, so many people that I speak to from India I, I think um, there's like a talent for languages maybe because you speak I think I think that what I learned is that you speak more than one language growing up because there's many languages that are in India, which I didn't know. Um, mm -hmm. Other questions? 
Okay. I have a question for Nad. My question is, um, how do you decide who you want to speak to and what the conversation oh. will be about? Uh, sorry, can you repeat your question? Oh, so my question is, how do you decide who you want to speak with and what the conversation is going to be about? Uh, just, you know, I, I, I was talking with people uh, from all around the world and I never decided at what topic I have to, you know, choose because I'm kind of guy who can talk about anything and I love talking about things. Even if I don't know about the thing, then if my, you know, the people who is in front of me, if he is knowing about uh, that thing, then I will just raise a question and he will give him me answer. And out of his answer, I will, uh, I, I will try to, you know, give him answer as well. So that was the method only, okay? And to be honest, it happens a lot often that we are not, you know, familiar to all the topic of this world. So we have to do one thing that we have to just passionately listen our speaker and we can, you know, figure out things uh, out of his speech and we can ask questions. And asking questions also can make a conversation very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for asking questions. So do you decide like to um, reach out to those people like through the, through YouTube as well, or how you connect with the people that you decide to talk to? Please, can you repeat your question once again? Sorry. Yeah. How, how do you connect with the people that you talk to? Like you uh, do some research in YouTube, like how you guys got connect to each other? Okay, okay, I got uh, You know, when I started posting my videos on YouTube, I was giving my email okay or um, link of my you know skype id and people were uh, joining me through a skype so that was the day uh, through which i was connecting with people okay i would say open an account so, with with that email per se you know to have to work only that or it was like your personal account or you open an account only for that no i i had my one email uh, it is not personal all the business uh, you know email i'm getting on the same email so yeah i i didn't have personal but one can make personal as well no problem it depends on you it's up your choice what you want to do do you want to create a personal email or just you want to keep that uh, for all the other works we have alexander saying was it hard creating videos on your phone were there any times that you felt like giving up yeah, Alexandra, uh, to be honest, I felt this so many often that I can't, you know, describe you. Right now, it is looking like everything is, you know, easy. And now I, I don't feel any sort of bur burden. Even sometimes, even today, it is happening. Okay. Sometimes it looks like, okay, I don't have content. You know, I'm lacking in content. I should give up. And to be honest, when I started uh, making videos on this, it was very difficult because I didn't have, you know, a uh, good more camera as well as you know resources that i should have and as well as i was new to the content on youtube so it was very uh, you know problematic on those days and so many of and i thought that no i should give up i can't do it but somehow somehow you know i bounced back and i kept doing it and today the result is in front of you so yeah i i think all youtubers feel the same uh, thing once in their life or once not so many often but you have to keep trying you have to keep doing things uh, because in, when you are keep doing things uh, automatically you will find after some time you are figuring out the new way of doing that so keep doing it yeah it happens and it is very natural we have pious that's asking do you have any um do you have any youtubers you look up to no, I don't have any, tube, uh, any YouTubers that I look up to because I'm kind of person who believe in myself and I think what new I can create, okay? So I have no competition with any other YouTubers and I don't look up to anybody. But yeah, there are so many YouTubers. They are motivational for me. They are doing different sort of work. They are just their content is different from mine. But after all, yes, uh, they are very big motivation for me. Um, it, okay, we have Rosemary. Have you ever thought of giving up on YouTube? If you have, what got you to stay on YouTube? 
I, you know, yes, uh, I think so many often I felt like I should give up on YouTube. But uh, my passion to talk with people, to do something on YouTube, to live with people had, uh, you know, always given me backup that you must be on YouTube, you must keep doing things on YouTube. That's all, okay? So it is my interest to, you know, talk with people. Right now, I have I'm talking with you guys, you know, different parts of the world and I'm loving it. So this is my, uh, that, that is something in which I'm passionate about. And it is just motivation for me and it keep me on YouTube. Hey, I got a question. Oh, okay. hitting you with spitfire questions. If it wasn't YouTube, if you wasn't doing YouTube videos, what would you be doing? Okay, sorry. Can you repeat your question? I'm really sorry for it. I think yes, there was a sound outside. I couldn't couldn't hear you properly. No worries. So, if it wasn't YouTube and creating YouTube videos, what do you think your career would be, or what would you be doing? I was already a teacher. Okay, so I think uh, I I would be teaching. Okay, I would have been teaching because I was in this business. If I, I wouldn't be a YouTuber, definitely my passion was in teaching. And as well as I have a big desire of, you know, traveling all around the world. So maybe that I would have been traveling. And I think right now I have postponed it for future. But if uh, I wouldn't be a YouTuber, then maybe I would have been a traveler up to now. Okay. So we... I have a question. Oops, oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to ask because you, you had talked about, we watched one of your videos uh, yesterday in the program and you had talked about all the different subjects that you teach. I was wondering if you had incorporated YouTube into your teaching profession at all, or um, if you'd kept them separate. Like, are you using YouTube to teach any of your students as well? Uh, sorry, can you repeat your question? And please be slow a little bit, okay? Oh, okay, sorry. Um, I was just wondering how you've used your YouTube channel um, to maybe supplement or help you teach your students? Are there videos that you put on there that they can go and watch or something like that? Yes, you know, I have been putting so many conversation videos and because of it, you know, students or people who were watching my videos, they found one thing that I'm speaking very clearly and very confidently. So they were just, you know, mailing me on my email section that they want a class from me and in this way you to help me to get a students oh that's cool right. yeah. that's we your have, question oh wow uh, susan first was um do you have any favorite interview and if so what was the main topic of the discussion uh i i think i hadn't any favorite interview whatever interview i had faced i tried my best to you know answer and i was trying to make it interesting so my, I think all the topic are of my own interest as, as little as I know, I want to, you know, speak in front of people, whatever knowledge I have about that topic. So I, for me, there is nothing interesting or not interesting. And um, we have Alexander said, did you ever listen to podcasts for inspiration? And if so, which podcast? Yes, I have been listening to podcasts and I think uh, more than podcast a speech. A speeches okay like uh, there are a few uh, spiritual leaders and they are very good at their knowledge so you know i have been listening to them to get gain knowledge from them that's all okay and i was and looking... I, I also uh -huh. mm -hmm. i also used to li listen to uh, audio books even today i listen it okay whenever i have time i uh, try to listen audio books because it is something that is uh, i can learn a book just within a short span of time so uh, this is a very good method for me to uh, gain a knowledge through a book by listening audio book. Yeah, I was uh, thinking too, when I was looking at your station and uh, your, your channel, not station, but looking at that first video, it was, I think on either mathematics or chemistry, which you are like mm -hmm. a brilliant teacher in, in that. And then somehow you kind of like moved it into kind of these English conversations and teaching English, but I know Patrick, you asked about that. And if you look at the very first one, it was like on either chemistry or mathematics. Mathematics it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was a teacher and uh, when lockdown started here in India uh, from, I think in March, 2020, okay. So I had no other way to do anything on YouTube. So I was uh, just, uh, I, I knew that how to make uh, educational videos. So uh, I, 
try to teach mathematics because I, I already told in my video that I'm good at mathematics, physics, chemistry, and as well as now in English. Okay, so I'm trying my best here also. So I thought that let's start, you know, doing something on YouTube. And because of it, I started making a youth, uh, mathematics video. But later I figured out I can do better than this in communication skills. So I started putting those videos. What would be like one thing you wish you knew about YouTube before you started? Uh, before I started, I think that uh, I would have been knowing how to create, how to edit videos and thumbnails and so many things here yeah, because my, it, may, it might have uh, accelerated my channel more than it is today. Do we have any other questions? Um, for Nad? Question, you said that in India there are so many languages, so apart for, from English, what is your main language and how many other dialects you know? In India, apart from English, Hindi is mother tongue, okay? Most of the people in India know how to speak Hindi, but uh, apart from that, I know four languages, okay? So, four. Uh, four. yeah, four. Yeah, okay. like, uh, one is mathly that is my mother tongue okay we have one mother tongue is hindi that all uh, it is being spoken speak spoken in all over india but mathly is something that we speak uh, in local level okay that while we are interacting with our parents or people from lo our own locality okay so there are two local languages as well okay and after that hindi and we speak english so four languages wow okay and we have Alexandra asking another question. Do you recommend any editing tips for beginners? Yes, I think uh, beginners should not think too much about editing because what happens sometimes that because of thinking too much, we don't uh, start our work. So I will tell you that uh, whatever little knowledge you have about editing, uh, start doing things. Later on, you will automatically figure out that what you need to improve, right? So if you know, then better, even a little bit. And if you don't know, then don't wait for knowing editing, but you know, start doing things. And in the other hand, you should also learn how to edit. Okay, so I will tell you, start things and go in hand in hand, do the both thing together. I think that's a good question. I mean, a good answer, because like sometimes people will, like well, our, our, we had a speaker last week that said he spent two years on that very first video, just trying to make it perfect. And I know when I started, I, I probably spent a couple weeks and hours, huge amount of hours of editing a video, but I ultimately posted it. And if you probably look at it, it might not, you know, it's, I'm sure I'm probably a little embarrassed and it's not the best, but I decided I'm going to put it out there anyway and hope that you see that there, there's going to be like an improvement over each video and you'll learn things as you go. So that's a really good answer. Mm -hmm. Do we have any more questions, students or staff? Anything you want to know, and I know that and I will um, put you if you can put your email in the chat if students you have questions you definitely I'm sure that Nod would answer them later on for you as well, for sure. Okay, so sure. uh, they can find my email as well as in about section of on my the YouTube channel. Too. That's how I found your email. In fact, I, I ended up contacting you to ask if we could do um, a mm -hmm. conversation and yeah you have it all on that about page. Mm -hmm yeah which i did share your youtube channel inside of our google classroom so everyone should be able to find that and be able to connect yeah all right any last questions and if not i know it's um evening for you it's morning almost afternoon for us i was okay. just telling everybody how you have just one one time zone for India, and it's like a huge country, and we have, I think there's five in the United States. Mm -hmm. so. At least oh, three. Five, five time zones. Yeah, yeah. it's like Eastern, Central, Mountain Pacific, and Hawaiian, Alaska, right. right? So, all right, well, thank you so much for joining us, and um, we are very, very grateful um, for you know all of your experience we can um i think it's very inspirational i think the students 
We're asking some wonderful questions and we really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to join us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Same here. It, it, it is great talking with you guys. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. You're amazing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. And good luck going forward. I hope that your channel continues to blow up. I bet it will. All right.